Hello there, my name is Tracy Elsom and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Canada. Thank you for joining me again for another 30 second solution video. Today I want to quickly go through some ideas and some options for attaching ribbons and thread to either gift tags or bookmarks. These are bookmark blanks that I have created. They're pieces of thick Whisper White card cut to two inches wide and then I just use the scallop tag topper punch to punch the slot and the shape at the top. Now that's a great idea um, but when it comes to actually putting something at the top there's lots of different options. Now the first one is really simple you just take a piece of twine thread it through the hole and tie it in a knot at the top. Really easy, works with bookmarks, works with gift tags. When you can get it through the hole, there we go. And you can just tie it off like that, trim off the end, and you've got a loop there, either for a bookmark or for a tag. And often people like that kind of attachment for a tag. Okay, but <clears throat> One of the problems with that is it, it tends to wobble around and the tag will end up all over the place. So what you can do is take, when you take your twine and put it through, tie your knot at the end, as I did before. But then tie another one much closer to the slot. And normally you would probably want to use a longer piece of twine for this depending on how much of an attachment you want at the end here so you've got a knot at the end and a knot further down and that just stops it from wandering up and down the twine that you've put on another thing that you can do if you have um, narrow ribbon or narrow twine is tie a knot in the end before you start at the end there <clears throat> then you can put the loop that you have there through grab hold of the knot and then you've got it secured that way as well and with all of these where you've got a knot tied at the end, you can put beads on there, you can make it quite decorative, make it longer, however you, suits you. So that's another option. So what if you've got thicker ribbon like this one? This one, it's really too thick to tie in a knot, it would it'd end up too bulky. So my solution for that is to simply place the ribbon through the slot and then I use mini glue dots. These are mini glue dots that I happen to have left over from a paper pumpkin kit recently. And so I'll put one mini glue dot just there, just slightly to the left of the slot. Fold the ribbon in half and just tip it over very slightly. So it's just slightly leaning towards the left. Turn it over. Take another mini glue dot and put it in the same place on the other side of your bookmark or your tag. Then if you do the same thing, you bring your piece of ribbon up, press it down onto the glue dot. So you bring it up slightly to the left and you end up with this nice effect where the two pieces are close together but not directly over each other. So that's another option. Um, with this one, of course, you wouldn't be tying it onto a gift. You could stick it onto a gift or it's great for bookmarks. You get that nice flat effect. OK, but what happens when you come to ribbon that is one sided? This is the new Knight of Navy corduroy ribbon from Stampin' Up. And so for that, what I do is I will do the same thing with the mini glue dots. Get hold of it not stick it to my thumb there we go one mini glue dot in that area and bring that up 
but then it's up to you. Do you like it different colours like that? No reason why not. But if you want both of the same side to be showing, then what I do is I just simply give that a little twist right at the base there where it comes through the slot. Then I'll grab another mini glue dot, put it in exactly the same place, so slightly to the left of centre. And then I've got this twist and I'm going to stick the front side of my ribbon to that. So you have this little fold here. It's neat, it's fairly flat, but then when you turn it over, you've got your pieces of ribbon. You can see both sides. So that's an option for that one. Okay, we have some really nice ribbons here. This one is double sided, but it's actually decorative on both sides, unlike the corduroy ribbon. What you can do is take both ends and bring them together so you have this very smooth loop rather than flipping it over where you can see that the loop doesn't follow through, it's just standing on edge. We want it to actually almost look like a collar. So we can put those two together, post both of those ends through and then before you pull it all the way through, grab those loose ends and bring it up. And there you have a really nice, it's almost like a collar effect. But what you have here is one side of the ribbon showing here and a different side showing. It's not unpleasant, but it's another way of looking at the way to tie it. Let's try that again. This is a ribbon that's the same on both sides. This is the new Berry Burst Metallic Edge ribbon. Again, I'm going to bring, so you have one side of the ribbon. You want to keep both of those sides together. So you've got this nice sort of shawl collar effect. And this time, if you poke it through from the back, then what happens is a thicker ribbon, you get this effect, which is really nice. It's almost like a man's tie. <clears throat> so you can see how that differs. It's similar, but because it's a thicker ribbon, it creates a, a, a different look. And that's the back of a similar thing. Again, you can see it's a thicker ribbon and it creates a slightly different look. So it's a case of experimenting with your ribbons to see which one you like. And finally, we come to the real problem. This is, ooh, I think it's about five eighths inch burlap ribbon. And I'm going to force it through that little gap. It's slightly too wide. You can see it's just pushing in very slightly there, but that's fine. We can cope with that. Now you could use mini glue dots to hold that in place if you wanted to. Um, the only thing I would say is that uh, you've got these gaps between the threads there. And so you would have to do something to stop that sticky from getting all over everything and sticking to everything. But there is another option, she says, looking for her piece of twine. And that's to take another piece of twine or very narrow ribbon. So I have my piece, my piece of very thick ribbon there, just folded, and then close to the slot, I'm going to tie a knot. Now, what, even if I'm tying a bow, I tie a knot first. I like to keep things under control. So there we are, there's the knot. Now, depending on what twine you're using, you can leave this, just trim them off and leave them loose. Or you can tie it into a little bow. And just add an extra, she says, not able to tie a simple bow. There we go. Um, you can tie it into a, a little bow 
adjust your ends and that's another pretty way of doing it especially if you're using contrasting colors so there you have it lots of different options for tying ribbons and threads on the top of your gift tags or on the top of your bookmarks and each one can solve a particular purpose I hope that's been useful I'm sure there are lots of other ways to attach your ribbons but that's a few ideas for you today if you want any more information about any of the products you see here the card the punch that I used for them the ribbons themselves just go over to my blog details will be in the information box below and I hope to speak to you again soon thanks very much for watching bye